Mark Jones. Now, I love that even when you're watching that, you're just enjoying him as <laughs> yeah, a character. Yeah, some great bad guy lines in it. You yeah. describe it in the best way. You say that he is a heat-seeking ballistic piece of evil. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I haven't done a villain for a while, actually, but this was uh, one that was impossible to turn down. He had yeah. a great outfit, he had those little <laughs> sunglasses, superpowers, he was great. Um, so, explain the, uh, the story, because the first, the first TV show I ever did in New Zealand uh, was called Shazam. Uh -huh. And so, uh, it has a special place in my heart. Yeah. This is a very, very... There, there were no, um, you know, sort of magic powers involved in that whatsoever, <laughs> so it was a fairly dodgy presenter. Was it Shazam based on this Shazam? Uh, it was nicked. OK. Just the name. Right, right. Yeah, so, sadly, it was a teenage magazine music show. Right. Uh, so, um, so it was first created in 1939 uh, as, a, as a comic, and so Dr Thaddeus uh, Silvana, um, he's... Um, who's had a reboot from this series. Yeah. You know, so, essentially, um, he's transported to another realm, he finds the wizard, he, the wizard is looking for someone to take on his powers, and he's just... And it has to be someone who is good at heart. Yes. He's just not good at heart. Oh. Well, I know, that's a shame, isn't it? I mean, that, hearing you say that makes me realise how fantastical these stories are. That's what's so great about them, these superhero movies. They're just incredibly kind of vivid and... Uh... What I love about this is it has something extra. It's not just good versus evil and guys fighting. There's, at the heart of it, it's really a family story. It's about... You start, actually, with the villain's backstory. You start with young Thaddeus, which never happens. So not only does the villain get a backstory, but you get to see him in a so-called perfect family being bullied, and it's ironic that he chooses the bad side, whereas Billy Batson, our hero, who turns into Shazam, Shazam he, He's his the mother's one that deserted gets him, the wizard's magic but he powers. absolutely gets the wizard's power and becomes the good guy. So there is at its heart of this film a kind of family theme, mm. which I think sets it apart a bit. And um, in order to, to play this villain, I mean, it wasn't just as simple as sort of getting a costume and putting it on. You had to kind of work very, very hard, sort of on your strength, to be physically fit enough to sort of master the stunts that were involved. Well, I, see, I thought I was old enough to have avoided all of that. But, <laughs> um, you know, when they're flying you in the air on wires and you're having to battle and punch each other and roll and spin and duck and do all of that kind of daily for weeks on end, you have to have stamina, if nothing else. So I did get fit. Did you, um, did you read what Kyle Gardner, the stunt coordinator said of you. No, I haven't. Really. I'm going to read it to you I now. Like this. Mark okay. showed up on set ready. He'd done everything we'd asked with his trainer in England and his core strength was beyond belief. He mastered stunts within an hour and that made our life a lot easier. He picked up the choreography really quickly. He is very athletic, a complete pro. Wow. I had no idea. Kyle, Kyle is now my new best friend, <laughs> obviously. And I should shout out to my trainer, uh, a guy called Giacomo Farci, who I, cha I train with. He's a Sardinian guy who works out of a gym here. I've been with him for years, and he was largely responsible for all mm. that. Well, you, you've got to... I suppose you have to decide, as you, as you, you know, sort of mature, what roles you're going to take, what, who you're going to be. Yeah. Well, I kind of figure the bad guys, you know, they, they have the best costumes and the best lines. And, you know, heroes, they throw a punch, they throw us, you know, kiss the girl, they, they kind of uh, crack a smile. But essentially, they're, they're, they're you, you know? W what the bad guy enables you to do is to play something other than yourself. And as an mm -hmm. actor, I've always wanted to do that. Is that why you like being a character? Yeah, absolutely. Not necessarily, you're not fussed that much about the lead? No, 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 not particularly, because it's not... I never thought of it as acting. You can get a costume or a wig or an accent or something that removes you from yourself, and then you're acting and it's fun. Um, you've had... I mean, the, the films that you've been in, you've had extraordinary success, there's no doubt about that. And yet you still don't really like the fame side of it. And actually, to sort of lose that sort of anonymity that you have, which I don't know how you have that. I mean, I read that this morning, I was thinking, well, you probably don't have that. But that's important to you, isn't it? To it keep is very private important. life. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a Londoner. I was born here. I've grown up here. And uh, I want to be able to go on the tube and, and have a life. And actually, people do come up and say hello, but they're really polite, so that's fine. And, um, yeah, the fame bit is... is it, there's nothing valuable about it, really. I, what I like to do is work, and work breeds work. So if you do a good job, mm. you'll get another good job. It's mm. not really about being that visible, I don't think. Mm. And, and being visible in that way kind of... Uh, you know, interferes with my family and my home life. Yeah. So is there, a, is there a, 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 a bad guy that you like to be? I mean, what about a, a Bond bad guy? Well, you see, that's an interesting, isn't it? The thing about the bad guy is it, it has to be... They have to be good, because the hero doesn't pay off otherwise. You have to have that balance. 
and they've become iconic. And you're absolutely right. Bond villains are now iconic. I would well, you've love got an to in. be a Bond guy. Uh, you would think I would have an in, being <laughs> Frank Daniels, but it hasn't worked so far. Is Dan Daniel is godfather to your son, is that he right? He is, yeah, my yeah. eldest. I was uh, surprised because he seems so exhausted after the last one, and he was exhausted. They are quite grueling, I have to say. But, um, you know, I think uh, he's been the best Bond ever, in my humble opinion. And, uh, and, yeah, I'm really looking forward to him getting back in the saddle for the next one. Yeah, so in which case, I mean, I would have thought definitely that it had been worth yeah, an ask. I would think so. You know? It would be fun <laughs> on set anyway, working with your mate. Um, yeah. Life could have been very different for you. You nearly studied... Well, you did study law in Germany, did I you? I did, I did, yeah, for a year I did law... But it was great because I then realised what I didn't want to do. Right. <laughs> so I had a kind of epiphany and realised that that wouldn't be that interesting, so I chose yeah, acting. Super but you're bi bilingual. I mean, you're a fluid German yeah, speaker. Yeah, my mother's Austrian, so I, yeah. I speak German, yeah. So you could, have, you could have had a suitcase and the raincoat and the BMW and... Absolutely, but that, I thought, you know, that's what I, th I realised. I wanted to act that. <laughs> so now I can have the suitcase, the BMW, the raincoat, but not actually have to do the work. Yeah, because, then, because then your eye yes. has laser powers. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Shazam is released in cinemas on April the 5th. Um, great fun, amazing, great effects, and obviously you've worked very hard on it as well. So thank you very thank much. Thank you Lovely very much. Lovely to see you.